Hi, I'm Lisa Nelson, celebrity makeup artist, and today I'm talking about what to do if you have red or severe dark circles under your eyes. So as a woman ages, she may notice that she has some maybe hyperpigmentation or some age spots, and it's some darkening under the eye area that she maybe didn't have in her 20s and 30s. No worries, that's why we have concealer. So today, on this beautiful lady here, I'm going to show you what we would do if she were one of those that had that. Now she has a little darkness under her eyes as we all do, but I actually am going to show you what to do if you had redness under there and darkness. So the color opposite of red is green. So if you want to counter any redness in your skin in any area, you would want to use a green concealer. So this is a little color correction and you want to just sort of work underneath the eye area. You can kind of draw sort of an inverted or a C shape here and work the color out. Just gentle in this area and by the way we did lay down a nice um, age resistant primer so it sort of fills in any wrinkles or pores, helps to minimize those and will also create a nice canvas just helps prepare the canvas in general before you put a foundation on. So primer and then conceal. And what I would say with this is to grab a sponge. And of course you're not gonna leave this green just as it is. It's not Halloween. So we're gonna go ahead and just do some color correction first. And the idea here, go ahead and close your eye for me, is that you would then be able to go in with your concealer that matches your skin tone or is maybe one shade lighter than your foundation and cover that area. And because of the color correction technique that you've done initially before doing that, you're going to have a much better result. I would advise the same technique for dark circles. In that case, if you have sort of a, um, a black or a bluish, you know, and you're seeing that heavily underneath the eye, you could use a yellow, because yellow is the color opposite of blue, to counter those dark, dark circles. So you sort of have to prioritize whether your issue is darkness in general, in terms of like a darker black circle underneath the eye, or red. Go ahead and open for me. Mm -hmm. And you'll see that this almost disappears at a point. But again, we're just laying down some corrective color so that we can go in with the concealer. Okay, now we've selected a shade that's pretty close to the foundation color that I would advise for her. And we're just going to sort of go in that same shape that we did with the green, working in the corner of the eye, coming outward. Whenever you're working in the eye area, you don't want to pull or tug a lot. You want to sort of treat this area carefully. The skin's about one-tenth of the thickness of the rest of the skin on your face, so it's fragile to begin with. I'm going to go back with our same sponge. And you'll notice you don't see the green at all anymore. Okay. So I'm Lisa Nelson, celebrity makeup artist, and that is how I would advise to cover either dark circles or redness under the eye.